once again, everyone, and good Tuesday evening to you. It is Weather for Weather Geeks. This is the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video, and on this Tuesday evening, we're going to talk about some past weather, but we're also going to project ahead into the rest of the year and into uh, the first month of 2023. A few thoughts on what January may bring us towards the end of this video. In the meantime, let's look backwards first. Uh, we are done with snow for the calendar year 2022. No more accumulating snow for the uh, year, for the season, which began several weeks ago, of course. This is where we stand in terms of snow totals. Uh, notice, of course, this green up in western New York. This is right over Buffalo. Uh, 100 inches worth of snow on their way to well into the triple digits for this season. And it's pretty easy to pick out, of course, where the prime lake effect areas are. Uh, you see a maximum of snow from northeastern Geauga County through central northern Ashtabula County up towards Erie and into all those counties in western New York. In our television viewing area, we haven't seen that much snow yet this season. These are some uh, reports from uh, weather observers throughout the region. By the way, if you're interested in becoming kind of an official or a weather observer, kokoros.org, kokoros.org. Uh, check out that website. I linked to it earlier on social media. Uh, that website is uh, in, full of information on how to become a weather observer, how to get the right rain gauge, how to report your snow totals, your rain totals, and significant weather. Um, and then we can, of course, look at that information and plot it up on maps like this. Uh, so far this season, a paltry inch or two at most in a lot of uh, central and southeastern Columbiana County up to a couple of inches in parts of Mahoning County, and up to six inches or so in a lot of Trumbull and Mercer. Uh, once you get over towards kind of the Portage County line, closer to Newton Falls, Southington, six or seven inches, pretty common. Over towards Hiram in that extreme northern part of Portage County, they've recorded about 13.6. Uh, Middlefield, just northeast of there, into Geauga County, 7.7 inches worth of snow. Officially at the airport, uh, we're running behind uh, schedule so far, and this number is only to continue to grow over the next couple of weeks with little snowfall expected through the first week or so of January. 9.1 inches shy of average so far this season. Look at that number in Buffalo. That is amazing. 71 inches above average through today's date in Buffalo, New York. They crossed the 100-inch threshold earlier on today. All right, it was kind of a gloomy one today. Uh, it wasn't quite as frigid. We stayed a little below freezing, of course. We stayed mostly in the 20s under a thick blanket of clouds. It just looked like a textbook late December or midwinter day in northeast Ohio and western PA. This thick bank of clouds will finally thin out as we go into our Wednesday. Soak that up if you can, because it'll be the last time we see a decent amount of sunshine for a while. Expect clouds to roll back in by midday and afternoon Thursday. Setting the stage for a pretty overcast Friday weekend, early next week. This will come with a few rain chances as well. At least it won't be that cold, though. Any precipitation will fall in a liquid form. But no precipitation Wednesday. It's going to turn out to be a partly to mostly sunny afternoon. Clear sky Wednesday night. Clouds roll in later Thursday. We might get a couple of showers in here by Friday. But I think the better chance for wet weather as this front approaches will come during the upcoming weekend. New Year's Day weather. Lots of ups and downs in recent years. 2018, we had 13 degrees after starting out below zero, but then the following year it was 60. We've had some damp uh, New Year's Days of late. Rain last year, rain, and even some freezing rain for a time uh, back on New Year's Day in 2021. A pretty uneventful, seasonable uh, start to 2020. Uh, 2019, of course, that mild year, but in the deep freeze at the end of 2017 and the start of 2018. The coldest high temperature on record for New Year's Day 10 degrees back in 1969, the warmest, 1985. This was followed by a, a pretty big Arctic outbreak in a lot of the area later on that January of 1985. All right, let's look ahead to January. Uh, the first week is no doubt going to be a warmer than average week. What about the month as a whole? Now, this is not the answer key, but this is one set of modeling that we pay attention to. This is the latest uh, forecast from the CFS, the Climate Forecast System, a, a North American-run uh, model, a medium and long range model. And look at all this orange it's painting in January. We talked about this some a couple of weeks ago in our updated winter forecast that we thought that the cold would back off in January. Certainly going to do that early on. Is it going to back off for like the whole month? No, I don't think so. I think that there will be some cold intervals starting during the second week of January. There's big question marks still about the second half of January. The CFS would suggest the warmer weather builds back in pretty quickly in that second half of January. There are some other model uh, suites and long-range teleconnections, some indices that would suggest that there are some colder risks, certainly, in the second half of January. But I don't see any evidence right now 
that we're going to see during the month of January any sort of return to the kind of weather we've had over the last week. Harsh cold, way below average. Even if we have some cold intervals in January, as we do just about every January, uh, I don't see much evidence right now that uh, we would have a prolonged extreme stretch. That may change by February, but right now I'm leaning towards mild as the call for January as a whole. We'll make that final outlook uh, later on this week at the very end of the week. But for the time being, uh, I think this uh, uh, below freezing stretch we've had for almost a week, it's about to end tomorrow, and then I don't see a return of that kind of weather anytime real soon. Well, of course, we'll do more updates on that long-range forecast in future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks, as always, for watching on this Tuesday evening, and have a great rest of your night.